Hello. I'm setting up for another experiment here and I thought I'd show you what I'm doing uh, for this next one. Uh, what I've got here is a, a I found a plastic bag that's almost the same size as this piece of naffy on here. Fits in there. And what I did was I cut two pieces of uh, graph foil that also fit inside the bag. And I turned the bag inside out and I glued these uh, copper uh, strips of uh, tape on here on the inside of it so that they lay against the uh, uh, graph oil on either side and for uh, for a current collector and to make some contacts up here that I can put together and then I'm going to take another piece of this uh, copper tape and I'm going to tape it onto this piece of naffy on here and then I'm going to wrap a piece of uh, paper around it for uh, to separate the uh, from the other electrodes and I'm going to slip it inside here this bag between these pieces of uh, graph oil and that'll make a double bio cell uh, battery capacitor that I can seal the bag up with and check for uh, the uh, exchanges if there's any oxygen exchange taking place in there and if I seal this bag and I test it and, and it stops producing uh, power then I'll know that it's pulling oxygen out of the air so that's the idea and uh, when I get this all set up I'll come back and f film the experiment for you and show you it's producing and then we'll leave it set for a few days or however long it takes and uh, see if it stops uh, producing um, power all right talk to you later I'm back. I was trying to put this thing together right here and I discovered something. A couple things. Look at this. If you put the uh, electrode on the on the nafion, like the, the, the terminal, and put it over here. I don't know if you can see this. Let me move this over. See that? There's, see it now. Look, 0.23 volts, and there's no separator and no water in it. <laughs> Look at that. And that's on. And 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 then check this out. Now, now I'm going to go to the electrode copper that I put on that and and make that the terminal. Look at that. Nothing. Oh wait a minute. That's because it's shortening out there. Hold on. Well, still nothing. All right. The, the the point is though that this nafion apparently is more, more conductive than the other stuff. Look at here. There we go again. See, point nineteen point eighteen volts. You can put it over here on the. Oh, let me try something. I might be fucking up. Here. Just put it over here where it ain't touching the other one. Yeah, look, 0.01. You put it on the nafion, bang, 23. Look at that. The nafion is more conductive than the than the copper, or it's not getting to the copper. Something's weird, but then there's no separator in there, and there's not even any water. How about that? Look at that. 0.27 now. 28. It's actually climbing. 29. Isn't that weird? I don't know. All right, I'm back. I've got uh, I got the separator papers in there and the uh, gra graphite in there, but I changed my mind about using the nafion because I'm gonna that's too weird. I'm gonna save that for some other experiments, and I've got a piece of uh, zinc uh, plated steel right here that I've cut to fit in there, and so I'm gonna substitute that for the nafion and put titanium dioxide on this and see if I can get that in there without screwing up the paper and if I can I'll be back and we'll test it all right I got it in there without screwing up the separator paper um, 
what worked best, I tried several things, was uh, put your titanium dioxide on the, on your plate and then put your papers on both sides of the plate and then uh, take some scotch tape and run down the edge of your plate on, on either side of the paper to hold the paper in the plate and then you can pull the bag apart a little bit and slip it right down in there. Alright, so that worked and now we're going to test it for you here. There's the, I think you can see that meter. Not the glare on it. I don't know. Let's set on these scissors here. Yeah, you can see that. All right, so positives on this side. There's our thing, and negatives here, and we can see you got one. 0.01 volts on that right there and let's uh, let's discharge it here and see what kind of milliamps it's got just for the hell of it get over here where I can see this when it starts 34 milliamps oh look how slow it's dropping look at that and that's a dead short it started at 34 milliamps and it's holding look at that holding at point nope now it's dropping again nope now it's back just it's holding about uh, a quarter of a volt, about the same thing we saw on the uh, other video. That's amazing. Well, when it, but yeah, that makes sense. It, it's producing electricity, so at some point it's going to drop down to the point where it's uh, where the drain is equal to what it's producing, and it should just sit there. And that's what we're seeing. All right, so now we're going to I'm going to seal this up and we're just going to let it sit and I'll give you an update on it in the future sometime all right next time